So I just want to know what to tell. Hi guys, I'm here with singer songwriter Becky G. Um, hi Becky, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. So Becky, leading up to your singing career, you had to, um, there was difficulty provided for you and your family. Um, what, what was? It, can you tell me about growing? Can you tell me a little bit about growing up for you? Yeah, I mean, I guess we can say um, I didn't always have it easy. Uh, for sure, me and my family did go through some struggles. We lost our home when I was like about nine years old, and uh, we moved into my grandparents' converted garage, which was like a lot smaller than the room we're in right now. And um, I definitely feel like if that didn't happen, I wouldn't appreciate the little things, and I wouldn't be as ambitious as I am. So everything happens for a reason. I kind of like live by that, and um, I feel like you know I, I was born into a really awesome family. There's a lot of us. I'm one of 19 grandchildren on my mom's side and one of 15 on my dad's. So I was never alone. I definitely had a lot of best friends and my siblings growing up, so. That's awesome, you know, you can always find the light in the dark. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I always think that, like you said, like if without sadness and happiness, and you, you can't find happiness. Definitely, yeah. I agree. So all that strength came from your parents, and um, I know they know that you're really close with, with your mom and, and your dad, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Um, so you began re releasing videos through YouTube, and a lot and a lot of people did that. And then when you released your first original song, Doctor Luke signed you. Yeah. What was that like for you? It was really awesome. I think yeah, like you said, a lot of people post covers, right? And that's kind of like what it was for me. I was just like, why not? You know, just everybody else is doing it. I'm a fan of these songs. Let's just throw it out there, see what happens. And um, I always explain it, it reminds me of like Willy Wonka and the Mini Chocolate Factory. Like there's all these chocolate bars, right? So there's all these covers on YouTube and there's only like a few golden tickets. And I just so happened to get my golden ticket because Dr. Luke came across my music video and signed me and actually you know, saw the potential in me. And I feel like I've definitely grown throughout this process of getting signed, so. That's awesome. So you've worked with so many people, including, um, sh including Cher Lloyd and Cody Simpson and uh, in Kesha, what can you learn from each of them? I think there's a lot of uh, things that I've learned from all the artists that I've gotten to work with, but especially like the younger ones, like, you know, like you said, like Cher and Cody. Um, and just because it's, it's tough, like figuring out who you are, what it is that you wanna do, what you wanna write about. And when you see like other young people and how they're handling the situations, like you can kind of take like from that and be like, wow, like, oh, he does that in his set. Like, that's so cool. Or, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the life of, of a young pop star isn't always the easiest with all the traveling and like, you know, making sure that you rest and you eat properly and all those things. So I, I feel like I learned a lot from the younger ones, just like kind of seeing how they carry themselves. Yeah, um, I mean, I know that like because I public because I'm a public speaker, so there's so many young people who's done amazing things that I can learn so much from them. Definitely, for sure. Yeah. So you started working with CoverGirl last year as an empowering role model for so many young girls. Um, what did you learn from that? What did you take away from it? Um, I feel like it's 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 like the biggest dream come true just because I get to say I'm an easy crazy beautiful cover girl like it's real <laughs> it's serious it's like the real deal and like you said that like I get to be a part of like a, a, a roster a family of so many incredible women like Ellen DeGeneres and Queen Latifah and Sofia Vergara and Katy Perry and like the list goes on and on and it's just like it's so cool that Becky G's name is right there with everybody else's and we stand for female empowerment and like true beauty and that beauty comes with from within, you know, yeah. and it's all about being confident. Yeah. So um, there was um, a lot. There probably was a lot of jealousy towards you when you started starting your is when you started your singing career. What advice do you have for kids that that get bullied every day in that? Um, I wouldn't use the word jealousy. I think back then I, I would have, you know, thought like, oh, why do they, why do they, why are they jealous or why do they hate me for this reason? But I think that the way I look at it now is they just didn't understand me. You know what I mean? There's just there was no level of understanding that you know me pursuing music was just like them, you know, wanting to play soccer or wanting to play baseball or wanting to be a part of the cheerleading club. Like I wanted to travel. I wanted to write songs and be in the recording studio. And um, you know, now as you grow up, like people start to like, oh, like she's just always been that way. You know what I mean? I've always been very sure of who I am as a person, and I think that's really important is to, um, you know, understand that not everybody is on the same path, and they're all on different, you know, timelines. And mm -hmm. some may mature faster, and some may not mature just as fast. Or some may figure out what they want to do with their lives at a really young age, and then some may not. So it's just like accepting where you are in your life and kind of 
loving that about yourself and, and being confident in that. You're really inspirational. Thank you're like, you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Thank I, you so you're, much. You're awesome. Thanks. Um, so, can you teach me a word in Spanish? What, what, like what? I don't know. I just, it seems like. You know, like the basics? Like, hola, como estas? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, anything. Really anything. Do you, do you like food?